Hi, Zach Reiser here, and welcome back to another Bass Effects Review video. Today I am getting into the Broughton Audio Synth Voice, a simple but incredibly effective analog octaver. So this pedal only has three controls, clean, synth, and sub. Clean is the volume of your clean bass, obviously. Synth is a synthesized signal at the same frequency of your clean signal. And then sub is an incredibly pure fat sub oscillator signal. I always recommend this with my videos since they're bass focused, but especially with this video, please listen on headphones or good quality speakers. Otherwise, most of that sub signal is gonna be lost on you. To start, here's my bass's dry tone, Dingwall ABZ six string on the neck pickup. So with only the clean volume pot turned up, all you're gonna hear is my normal dry bass tone. Here is the synth signal. So yet again, this is not a sub signal. It's at the same frequency as my bass. So just the synth signal by itself. So hopefully you can hear in that little clip that the tracking on this thing is pretty damn solid. But this one tracks especially well down low, which is pretty unusual for analog octopus. So here's just some low notes kind of walking down. Here it popped up there, but that is a low B, which is pretty rare for an analog octave to be able to track down to a low B. This is where you really need to put some headphones on. Uh, the sub signal on this is such a pure sub frequency. There's really, really barely any upper harmonics at all. It is basically a fattening signal. So here is some of that sub by itself. So let's start blending these three signals together a little bit, because that's really where you start getting into some fun voices with this particular pedal. So I want to first show how the synth voice is just a great way to fatten up your clean signal without actually adding a sub signal underneath. So here is my dry bass by itself. And then now let's add some of that synth voice in. A different way to fatten your signal, let's do clean and sub together this time. And then my personal favorite, let's do all three together to bring the complete fatness. One more simple voice combination. Let's do synth and sub together, which really gives you, in my opinion, the most synth voice-like sound.
hopefully by now you have a pretty good idea of what the synth voice sounds like by itself. But as per usual for myself, it's time to combine this thing with some other pedals. Let's start simple. So one of my favorite things is an octaver running into a compressor or a compressor running into an octaver. But in this case, I have the synth voice before my Kali 76 compressor. So here is with all three voices turned up into a compressor. <laughs> Now let's hear a little bit of the synth voice into that compressor without the clean signal going. If your octaver signal isn't fat enough for your taste, one easy thing to do to fatten it up even more is to run it into any kind of dirt. So let's hear the synth voice set up as now running into a slight overdrive on my source audio aftershock. <laughs> Let's take that clean signal out and get a little bit synthier. So here's the synth voice setup as shown without anything else. And then here is that same setting running into the source audio aftershock on some low gain overdrive. Same idea here, but a much higher gain version. This is the synth voice running into my Titan II fuzz pedal. Another very classic and very funky combination. This is the synth voice running in to an envelope controlled low pass filter, in this case, my Iron Ether Zero Graph Deluxe. <laughs> Similar idea here, but this is more on the bass synth side of things. So I've turned the clean signal off, I've put that Titan II fuzz pedal back on, and I'm running that into the Iron Ether Zero Graph Deluxe. <laughs> Let's add one more layer to this synth sound here because we're getting pretty close to being able to take on some key bass territory. So now I have the synth voice running into the Titan II fuzz pedal, running into a multi-chorus on my Strymon Mobius, and then that running into the envelope filter on the Iron Ether Zero Graph Deluxe. <laughs> Wow. 
So that is my demo of the Synth Voice by Broughton Audio, a very simple but very fat sounding analog octaver. I've gone into a lot of discussion in the past about analog octavers, and I think the Synth Voice really excels at showing how powerful that wet, pure analog signal is when you combine it with other effects to really get you into some synthy territory. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe below. It really does help me out, and I'll be back soon with more pedal reviews, tips and tricks videos, and performance videos. Thank you so much for watching.